Toffee TV. Right, next week it's the Dixie Awards. It's the new Everton end of season awards. Baz, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't open it with exclusive. This is actually a real, a real Dixie. Honest to God. It's, and it's quite heavy as well. Oh, the man behind the camera wasn't happy when I done that. No. Uh, <laughs> it's quite heavy. It's a proper trophy, Baz. Have a look at that. It's a proper Dixie trophy. Thanks, no worries, mate. Right. Um, best part of Toffee TV. Best thanks, great thanks, hairs. Thanks to my mum and my dad and everybody. No, it's, it's a cracker, isn't it? And the Dixie Awards, of course, are the new Everton End of Season Awards, Boxster. which have come in this season. They're going to be at the Liverpool Philharmonic Hall, Tuesday the 9th of May. Tickets still available. All the details in the description below. There's tickets from £30 to rich people who pay £99. They were out there. They, they love it. They love the kind of thing, Baz. You rich people. You yeah, rich people. Any, anyone. Everyone loves it, sure. They do. They do. Dixie, uh, I'm not love Dixie. The whole squad are going to be there as well. Ronald Coombe and the whole squad. Mark Chapman. Chappers. 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 Can we call them Chappers? I don't know. Maybe when we become best mates of them on the night, we can, become, we can call them Chappers. Because we'll be there. We'll be there on, apparently, the blue carpet, interviewing all... I don't know. And Sunday. Who are they going to let us up into Chappers? Yeah, they're going to let us into Chappers. It's all good. We'll be there. Getting interviews. Uh, uh, yeah. Can't wait. It's great. It's can't wait. And so we're going to do our own anyway. There's, going to, there's 10 awards. Now, some of them are very, you know, players play of the year, chairmen's play of the year, that kind of thing. We can't obviously do that. No, nope, sadly. Uh, unfortunately. What would, 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 would you rather be? Players player or chairman? Players player. Okay. Money. You would, yeah. I, I just want to produce. I'm just all about value. I just want to produce plays. I'll be value, buy me fellow. I just want right? to produce plays. That's all it is. Plays or yeah, plays? Plays. Oh, okay. Dream coats and pet coats. I'm all over that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that one of his? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? There you go. I stopped at Joseph. <laughs> Let's not go into any more discussions no, about Joseph or anything like that. Um, right, let's get into the first award. It is the under 23. Play of the year, obviously champions of the league, Premier League two, Premier League two Premier champions, champion. right? Um, there's obviously a few names. Tom Davies could come into the equation. Played the first half of the season mm. with the under 20s He's very successful. Moved into the first team. Obviously, been very successful in the first team. Um, obviously, there's players like Liam Walsh. There's players like Mason Holgate, Matthew Pennington. John Joe Kenny, Joe Wilton, no, Joe Williams hasn't played enough. Kieran Dow. Kieran Dow, obviously goal scoring every single week. Um, foot one. It's a team full of players who could win this. <laughs> team, full of team full of players. Generally, teams are full of players, players yeah. I'll be honest. Um, yeah. I mean, as you say, there's a shout for Tom Davies, but I think it'd be criminal not to have someone who played near all season, obviously. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've done a different video about the PFA team of the year mm. and you a few of them because players who <laughs> yeah. didn't play the full season were in that, so let's move on. Now, I think, listen, Tom Davies is, is a first team player, so I, and he didn't play the full season as, as mm. good as what he was in the first part of it. Yeah. So I think it's only fair, like you just said, to have someone who's been there and played the whole season. And certainly the person I would go for, although there's notable shouts mm. for the likes of John Joe Kenny, who I think will probably be one of the next ones who plays in the first team, is a player uh, who really, really impressed us when we went to the Southampton under-23 game a few weeks ago, and that is Liam Walsh, who I just think is absolutely fantastic footballer. Mm. Um, I think he's one who could certainly be involved in the first team. I'm just wondering whether his size has stopped him at the moment being involved, because he's such a, a clever footballer, mm. great passer at the ball, but uh, he's definitely one for me, I, w I would give him my vote probably. That'll be two votes then. I'm going to go for Lee. Oh, sorry, Liam Walsh. Liam Walsh gets to the front. We'll, we'll accept that on his behalf. Liam can't Walsh. be here tonight. You can't um, be here tonight, no. He's, yeah, he's, that. He's doing um, good things, yeah. yeah. So Liam Walsh is going to get our under 23 play of the year. Deserve it. Champions of Premier League 2. So that's a, it's a big accolade. Uh, moving on. Goal of the season. Now this can be difficult, this one, because you, you've got to start sort of really searching your mind for... Well, just remembering goals. Remembering goals, yeah. Just remembering goals. Yeah. Um, 
Eddie. Barry's at Barry's at West Brom. Eddie. Remember that one? Yeah, I do, yeah. Just asking you if you remember. Knocked it in off the corner. Yeah. Makes it hold it and he scored and he knocked it in. It. And to make sure, you know. I remember, I remember. Yeah. James Coleman against Butter. Yeah. yeah. Nice little goal. Was Barkley first game of the season against Spurs? Yeah, Free kick. Yeah. Yeah. bounced in. Did he mean it? So who are you, who, 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 who are you going to go for then for goal for of the goal season? For goal of the season, I'm going to go for um, the, the goal. No, no, no. I, it, there, is a, there is a point Come to on. this. The goal I'm going to go for is the goal that made me get out of my seat yeah. and just go, oh my God, I'm glad I was here to witness mm -hmm. it. And that is Tom Davies' goal against Manchester City. Yeah. Just from where he picked it up. From running, watching those lovely blonde locks just flowing, and yeah. the fact that we've been banging on about him getting in the team for months, the little chop, and everything else that went with it, I just thought it was a, and it, such a such an important game as well at that time against the team that was flying. So he would be goal of the season for me would be Tom Davis against Manchester City. Well, I'm going to throw in a couple of goals from the Bournemouth game. First of all, okay. Ron's fit the goal in the first minute. Yeah. Brilliant interplay, brilliant interplay, lovely ball into him. He took out his feet, whipped it in to the far post. Mm. And then there was his, was it his fourth? His fourth, yeah. fourth goal where he gets through. Ross Barkley, lovely back heel, he gets through and sticks it away. Um, yeah, nice there haven't that. been that many, I would say, absolute worldies for this season. Just no. a lot of nice goals. Because we don't shoot. It's one of them. <laughs> Nearly we walk everything. Yeah, we, we walk everything. Um, another one I, I really liked was Snidelands against West Brom. Yeah, it was a lovely goal. Just the way he took the ball with one foot and then just knocked it in with mm. his goggle gadget legs. And I, yeah. I, I love that. But I'm going to agree with you on the Tom Davies. And it's, it's the same reason what you just said. When he was running with that ball, when he made the little chop, I honestly jumped out of my seat mm. and it was one of those goals where you know when you see a boss piece of skill and you want to see it you rewarded it, yeah, yeah. With, with it being a goal Very product, yeah. well the fact that he shifted it on he gets it back he gets flattened he gets flattened gets up thinks it over the goalie and actually until I got off the ground I actually thought Ron Blue had knocked it in I, actually, I was actually a little bit gutted that it wasn't Tom Davies' goal and it wasn't until I got out of the ground that I suddenly realised that it was Tom Davies' goal and Ron didn't get a touch on it so for that, and for what a great game that was, and what an occasion, obviously uh, Luckman getting a fourth, yeah. and sort of, it was just, it was a brilliantly perfect day. Mm. You don't get many of those in football, and see a young lad, blue through and through, do that to players. And go in the crowd. Do, yeah, S see, see him do that yeah. to top class, world class footballers, without caring one bit, was just absolutely amazing. So, and it was just a brilliant goal anyway. It was a it was a goal that, that deserved to win it any with any kind of award. But the fact that when you're there and you see it, you just think, I'm glad I was I'm glad I was here to see that because it was the shot when he left. Yeah, yeah, it's all right for that. It was. Yeah. I mean, to be fair with that ass, it's not hard to, but it was absolutely brilliant the way he left them for that. And a great goal, yeah. yeah. So Tom Davies. Tom, Tom Davies gets the Dixie for goal of the season. Sadly, yeah, Tom can't no. be with us tonight. He's no. busy he's having barbers. his tea. He's no his, barbers. No, he's not. He's but he's just that. passed his driving test, he's probably just out. No, like, just maybe when you pass his driving test and he's just out. It's just like Tom take us to the ship. Yeah. <laughs> the McDonald's drive through. Alright, lad. That's he's all I did. Head. That's all I did when I passed my test. Finish. I don't think he's allowed. Just, I just want fries. That's all I just wanted fries. I went. That's where he is. Right, that leads us on nicely to individual performance of the season. Again, you've got to rack your brain and think it. of all and when you get to your age. I mean, it starts getting a little bit no, it doesn't more different. My memory's better than yours, kids. So well, yeah, yeah, but it's like it's like a proper sort of. You can remember things that happened during the war, but I'll ask you what happened yesterday. The Gulf War. <laughs> yeah, the first one. The first, yeah, nineteen ninety. Yeah, I think you can as well. Um, this is another. Listen, you know you can talk about Aruna Coleman all you want. Yeah, against, you can. Uh, I don't know why you would. No, but, but you can. But your individual performance, you know, for whatever reason, let's move on. But. <laughs> You know, you can talk about Luckman for two minutes coming on yeah. and scoring with his first touch, yeah. which, you know, it was great. But, <laughs> nah, I mean, okay. again, there's only... There's, no, there's, well, let's, hang on. Let, right, well, Romelu Lukaku, he scores four goals against Bournemouth. Yeah. He's got a hat-trick against Southampton. Uh, not Southampton, uh, Sunderland, Sunderland, sorry. Uh, yeah. Have you just been talking about... If only there was a way to, to talk about memory. Yeah. And that's just begin, no, that was just beginning with S. Beginning with S and because it's red and white. Yeah, 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 that's all it was. Um, any other notable performance of the season, just that you can remember, that you can throw uh, into the mix? No. <laughs> None. 
Well, there's, there's, you know, snap. What about Steckland? Every time Steckland's Steckland goalkeeper against Man, Man City. City. Yeah, but that, that has got to be in there. It has got to be in there, but then I just remember Burnley the week later. And it, <laughs> yeah, but that it doesn't matter. It's not the two performances. It's no, the it's, one. It's perform- to be fair, it's performance top, top against three. Manchester City. Second. Second. Saved two penalties in a game against them at the Etihad. He was brilliant. He was brilliant. I'd like to just... I'm I'm like, I might have just swayed that. I might have just been swayed. I, I haven't been swayed. Okay, no, it's not. So who's yours? Tom Davies against Manchester City. Okay. Uh, because again, the, the, this is a kid that has. At the time the City game came round, I'm sure it was something like his third start or his fourth start, and he's up against world class yeah. midfield players going into a game that was that, like I said, they were doing well. You know, they were flying at the time, um, and we we weren't. We were just on the beginning of that getting our home form right, Ronald Koeman had tinkered mm. a little bit with systems and we were just starting to get a little bit of form together and he just came in that day and just gave an unbelievable performance. He's 18, mm. 18 years of age, he was absolutely brilliant and to cap it with the goal, was, uh, for me that's, the, Stecklenburg to be fair, now we've discussed it, you kind of go, yeah that performance that night was a 10, I think I gave him 10 on the right yeah. and not many have got the 10s. Tom Davies get 10 against City? I can't even remember. Memories gone. There's only just some way of knowing. <laughs> exactly. You could if we only we did discuss this before and they'd gone back to them ratings. <laughs> Probably did. How if he, if he didn't, Baz, you're a beaut because he should have got ten. Um but that for me, I've got yeah, Stefan Burke. Now that for me because he scored and we won the game. Okay. He, that's why for me Tom Davies. Stefan Burke couldn't have done any more than he did unless he, he could have scored. He could have saved the thing he's had that Nelito's had that, which is straight down. You're making excuses now. I am. Tom Davies. Why, why are you questioning me? I've just give the greatest answer ever. I'm not because... We won 4-0 and he scored. <sighs> All right, OK. Are you can have a different one. No, we can't. We've got to have one. We've got to have one winner. We've got to have one so winner. You're, so, all right, well, give me, the, give me the reasons why Tom Davies performed. No, no, no. I don't have to give you the reasons why. I'm giving you... Well, you do. Stecklenburg was amazing that game. OK, so, so if you were voting... Say two penalties... Yes. And made some absolute worldy saves. He did. Really to get us a point in that game. But Tom Davies was amazing and we won the game. So I'm going, by virtue of the fact we got three points, I'm going for that. Do you want, do you want to, listen, if you want to call the, the deciding one on this one. Can't call the deciding, there's only two of us. <laughs> if you want 51, 49, do you want it? No. Um, but, yeah, but be honest, like okay. before we end it, what if we were sat yeah. here and someone said to you, what's been the performance this season that's made you like, Excited and made you go, oh, that was amazing. That would it? Would you honestly go? You're having a bevy with. Would you honestly go Stecklenberg against Man City, or would you go the performance that made me buzzing when it yeah. came out the stadium and going, okay. what have I just oh, witnessed by a kid? Stecklenberg's played in the World Cup final. He's had big occasions. Didn't play as good as that. He didn't. Otherwise, <laughs> he'd have won. But um, but Tom Davis. Okay. Tom Davies. We won the game right. and he scored the goal. Not right. I'm giving it to both of them. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not giving up Stecklenberg. Okay. I'm not. Sorry. Sadly, Martin Stecklenberg can't be with us tonight. <laughs> He's in the bar. He's in the bar. He's in the bar because it's a. Cause no, it's a joint win. Tom Davies and Stecklenberg. Because okay. I, I can't. Okay. I, I can't. What's okay? I can't find any faults in Stecklenberg's performance that that game. Okay. What? That one day. What's the Alito goal? All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's that's, fine. that's that's a joint win for Tom Davies and Stecklenberg. Okay. There you go. Because I can't, I just can't, I'm not, not no, I refuse to back down over Stan come back for that game. I never asked you to back down. You did? I think it's says you take the, take the decide right. if you want. Okay, this one's going to be an interesting one. I wasn't quite sure if we were going to put this on our list, but we have. Uh, fan of the season. I don't, why is that on the list? Because you wrote, wrote it, it's it in your hand, right? I know, but then I forgot that we probably should. Yeah. It's hard, because well, to be honest with you, yeah. I think everyone who goes to every away game yeah. should get fan of the season. Okay. What if you go to every away game in your bills? In your bills. Well, well to be honest, you should go to every away game in your bills. I mean, unless commandos the way you want to go, I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, listen, we're, we're going to give it to Speedo Mick, aren't we? Just because okay. we, we know him. Do we? Say, well, no, but I mean, he's, he's identifiable, okay. isn't he? He's the fellow walking arm with a pair of bills on yeah. it and a cap. All right. Okay, I, I, but so what? But I'm, I'm going to throw this in there. All right, Speedo Mick. We're not. I'm not going to give him the award. I'm just going to say he's probably yeah, the yeah. fan of the season. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we we can give anyone we can't fan give of the anyone season. Fan of the not season. within our. But I, but anyone who's who's raised any money 
the people who've done the food banks. They be um, by the way. The people, you know, there's loads and loads of people that contribute to Everton Football Club for every game, um, whether it be. You I don't know, think raising money with, with buckets. I don't think you can. You can give a fan no. of the season award. I don't play. I work that I haven't seen people come down at the last penny mm. to buy a ticket to go to match. That to me yeah. is incredible support. So people who get up and go all over the country to watch them and spend their money mm. watching Everton, people go to. Pe- listen, the two lads who were talking at that game in Austria behind the camera when it was getting filmed about them going to match and having a bevy. What are they doing? Just watching a pre season friendly at yeah. the end of a training week. Absolute mad, and it's people like yeah. that whose real passion is to to go and support their team. So I, I've I've wrote it down, but to be honest with you, it could be anyone. It's just because you're on the no speed on it. Yeah. Okay. Fair It'll be the fella. Oh, that fella's had every away game. Oh, you know, with the hair and he's got the scarf. With the hair. He's amazing. It's with him. He's the, fan of the year. With the hair. The he's fella with the hair. With the hair, you just see his hair all. The I'm just gonna say anyone who who contributes, Limbs. anyone who contributes to. Raising charity money or or helping with food banks or anything like that. But then everyone comes to me because at the game. So they're all fans of you. Everyone's fan of the year. Everyone's fan of the year. We've decided that. Right, this leads us on to the big our big two awards. Alex Rushman off, fan of the year. I'm calling it now. Uh, Okay. I'm calling it. Because he's just a fan. He's a fan. He doesn't put any money. There's no money in. He doesn't put any money. Just a fan. And somehow Bramley Moore's come about. So Alex Rushman off, my fan of the year. Big Joe. Big Joe, oh, Big Joe has got to yeah. be. Big Joe's up there, Joe's, Joe's a fan, isn't he? Yeah, and he's been involved. Big Joe, Big Joe, I'm gone. There's a stadium on the water, but Big Joe, Big Joe, vote for Joe. He's back, yeah. isn't he? Back, hasn't he put himself back in the vote or something? For the mayor? No, we can't. Yeah, he's back in, you know. We can't. I'm sure he is. He's not. He's not. I'm sure. He's I got. A, I got a thing. I threw me door saying, no, "Don't not. let Joe Anderson back in." No, he's not. That was off that woman that. on Twitter. The other one. <laughs> You know the one. Bobby likes to fly the kite. Next, move right. on. Um, yeah, Big Joe and Machiri for buying the what? Liver Buildings. Machiri, <laughs> fan of the year for buying the Liver Birds. Oh my, and letting I'm Liverpool letting, yeah. have it on their kit. Yeah, listen, yeah. how nice is that? He should win their fan of the year. He's, he's got there, for surely. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Unbelievable. There you go. <laughs> We've solved that one. Um, Big Joe. Big Joe, it's on its way. Uh, young player of the season. This is this a hard one for no. you? No, <laughs> no. Um, uh, yeah, this is. I'm realising that. I thought I should have just worn me. I yeah. love Tom Davies t-shirt. Curly wig. Yeah, and I can't wig. I did call him. I gave him the cat wig name. Curly yeah. doors, and then it became. Dare I don't Catwick. know if that's official. I don't know. If I have never anywhere. Okay, I said it in a bold set. All right, all right. Shame. Just putting it. All right, well. So your so for you yeah it's Tom right. Davies. Well, only because he's is the the progression and the development. Yeah. I mean, we've obviously had Mason Holgate who's done brilliantly. Um, we've Dominic Calvert-Lewin to a lesser extent because he's not played enough games and and he's dividing opinion at the moment. And I'm not sure why he's playing that position. But you know, Tom Davies has come up the 23s, made his debut last a year ago. Mm. You know, at seventeen against Southampton, and he's just gone on that upward trajectory, and he's he's kind of forced Ronald Koeman. He's forced to change your mind, I think, of Ronald Koeman because only early December when we were banging the drum, Ronald Koeman come out and said, mm, "Yeah, no one's ready." The next minute, this kid's got in. He's in every week. He's playing before experienced pros. He's finishing games, mm. ninety three, ninety four minutes. So, I I personally I don't know how we could give it to anybody else. No, I I can't give it to anyone else. I mean, this is a lad that. Around December, we were we would we would we did a, a, a video about him saying mm. how he had to play, and I'm so happy he's proved us right because <laughs> yeah. if he hadn't, yeah. we'd look like idiots. Mm. Um, well, we do that quite well. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, only on Patreon. Um, yeah. Do fair. No, well on uh, he's a player that has got into the team. You know, scored a couple of goals. We've given you've already given performance. You've given performance of the season. We bo- shared the performance. We both give him goal of the season. Um, and he's a player that even you go back to the Chelsea game, even though it was good, we got beat three 0 he, he gave us that little percent of pride with just the way he performed in the game. I give him man of the match for Chelsea five nil. No? Yeah. He's only on the pitch for eighteen. Yeah, so that's so, how well he played. And, I, and I'm just glad he shaved the beard. If I'm honest, yeah. okay. if I'm honest, I'm just saying. Nobody seems have, uh, to be honest. He represents the club brilliantly. If he got his hair cut. He'd look about twelve again. Now he would, wouldn't he? He's got to keep. Imagine he shaved all his hair off. He would look like a twelve-year-old. 
Um, no, he's a, he's a listen. He's a he's seems a, like a really nice. Yeah, lad. seems like a dead let down to earth. I seen he passed his driving test this week and he thanked his mum because no, obviously she took him to train, yeah, training yeah. all the time. She's she, probably made up. She? Seems dead down to earth. We've got other footballers putting like their mad nights out on um, Instagram. He's putting playing chess. You know this. He, this is what you want from a footballer. You want that. Soon. Do you think? Soon. Do you Not think? Yeah, it's eighteen, but. I think within a couple of years I'd love it absolutely love it because yeah. it's about setting tones isn't it and, and respect and how you again another one that probably very similar in the Seamus Coleman mould of my job and you know and I get on with it and I'm not flashy and you've got to love all of that haven't you? Black and Boots brilliant Black Boots bigger than up yeah what's he throwing the green Tom? that's not his fault Shwerf that's his sponsor that. no, Shwerf, that's good. a lot of them have like pink boots and stuff he just has black ones just, just give them the sponsors just make him the, the beacon of black boots again. Just leave the old stupid colours to everybody else. You could bring back like the proper Beckenbauer boots and give them to him. Just the ones and that he wore. And he would be there. It might be hard. The dub on to make them soft. I don't want that many things. Up to date boots, don't you? Kids, if you don't know what dubbing is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know. Baz used to wear echoes for shinies and things like that. That was you. <laughs> echoes, I didn't wear shinies. <laughs> right, so Tom Davies gets young, pro- I'll give it to you because I feel like, I feel like, I should, feel like you're a proud I've parent. I've sold it, I, he, he feel, I wish he was my lad. Because my lad at the moment is causing me grief, yeah? <laughs> no, he's not, he's not, he's not. He's got hair like some babies though, that's what's bad. That's what the grief is. You okay, won't get his hair cut. I'll accept it on behalf of Tom who can't be with us tonight because yeah. he's at Mac, he's so a party in the side. Right, sure. right, this brings us to the big one, the final award of the night. Everton play the year 2016-17 season. Tom Davies, captain. <laughs> right, I think there's two names that sh- that that shout straight out. But I'm gonna throw just like a little honourable mention. You in. Throw cleverly and I'm gone. No, Cle- I'm gone. cleverly was part of the the circle. Oh, okay, yeah. Part of the circle. So I'm gonna throw honourable mention in. Gerard Delafeu. No, not Gerard Delafeu. No, you love him. Morgan Snydlin, I'm just going to throw that name in for. He's not going to get, of course, he's going to. But if it was player of half the season, he might get it. Yeah. And the re- I just think his impact that he's made since he came into the club in January has been immense to the point now that, well, like we talked about about it after the Chelsea game, when you look and when you see his name's not on the team sheet, you just think, oh, yeah, straight away because yeah. no one can do the job he does and make the team almost tick the way he does. So I think. If, it, if if he'd been with us all season, he would have had a big shout. And I also yeah, think yeah, that one of the names we're going to mention, I think, I don't think he he's he's he almost it feels like he has to do less work to mean that you don't automatically think every single game man of the match, man of the match, man of the match. Mm. That's all. Yeah. I think one of these, I think one someone who we're going to mention would have won this by an absolute country mile. He might anyway, but I think his response. Responsibility in the team has become a little bit less because of Morgan Snyder. It's just a pity for him as Mari's out injured because he would, have, you know, he would have been one that we'd have. Well, he made Garner look better. <laughs> Garner had to ch- clean up after. Um, so are you going to mention? So I mean, your let's throw your Stop name. It. Let's throw it in. Go on, my name. Yeah. Mate, as much as I want to be Everton's Player of the Year, it wasn't me, mate. It wasn't me. Um, mine would be Garner. Yeah. Would be a Drissa Garner. Okay. Fabulous player, by the yeah, way. Fabulous player. Um, he would be my player of the year and the reason why he would be player of the year because I know the person you're going to put in and it's hard to argue against that and, and, as well yeah, all the names that will be discussed he came in to a lot of who is he? who's this fella oh, blah blah, blah yeah. Yeah. 7 million quid yeah. from Aston Villa who just been relegated now I hope my hands will be played Villa twice last year beat them 7 on them over the two games I didn't notice him in either game yeah. so when we bought him it was like Right, okay. And then the stats came out and it was, well, you can make stats work mm-hmm. any way you want. He's the second only to Canty and all that. He's been unbelievable. I mean, we were at, we were at the, the pre-season game when he, seven minutes in, he gave that penalty away and we were like, <laughs> okay, who's yeah. this kid? Since then, he's been unbelievable for us. Mm-hmm. He's, you know, so much so that we were all kind of like coming up to the African nations. Yeah. We're like, right, we're not playing well as it is and we're about to lose him for a month. Great. Mm-hmm. You know, Snydlin came in and just got his, his flip flops on yeah. and his cigar and everything was. I've got this guy, yeah. you know, with his flip. And um, but then Garner come back in and and it's almost 
since he come back in, he's almost changed the role that he had. But he's, he's, he's just been, yeah. you know, he, he's just been, for me, for seven million quid and for coming where he started to now, over the season consistency mm. wise, he will be my player of the year. Yeah, and I remember we were at the third kit launch as well, and he was there and he was asked the question about playing in the derby, and he said he couldn't wait because he just wanted to kick people. Which I think yeah. was which 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 won a lot of people yeah, over. People um, yeah. No, you're right. He came in and he was absolutely phenomenal for the first like for the first five or six months before he went to the African Nations. Mm. And since he came back, I'm not saying he's not the same player, but I don't think he has to do as much now because Morgan Snyder's on the team. But as we've seen against Chelsea, you, you know, Iman marks Hazard out of the game, and and maybe we might have lost actually a little bit of him. In elsewhere because he did man mark him, but he was so good in that game. I even seen a video of David Luiz saying if you still got Hazard on your, in your pocket or something. Hazard, and yeah, yeah. Your pocket, yeah. So he's he's been absolutely phenomenal this season, um, and I can't wait to see. I mean, obviously stats are brilliant. He's the better than sort of Canty. Um, you know, he, he's phenomenal, and I can't wait to see that. Mid- that way, isn't it? What we've moved on from. Oh, sorry, him. please. I can't wait to see next season when, when we have when we have you know Morgan Snydlin, Tom Davies, um, Garner, some more in there. Just to, yeah, Thielman, yeah, Rooney, of course, of course, Lacazette. Uh, and we see that 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 three almost bed down for the mm. season. And they all mm. know the roles and they all know the jobs because he's been brilliant. I mean, I'd say the first four or five months he was doing everything. He yeah. was everywhere, and I think that's why you're seeing him more and more. But since Snydlin's coming, he's he's just Snyder sits and he just does all the doggies and stops the game and breaks it down and he's, he's brilliant at that. Um, so he's obviously one of two. The other name you've got, I think you've got to mention, is Romelu Lukaku. Mm, yeah. He has one job in this team and he does it really, really well. I'm sure he's got other jobs. Yeah, he doesn't really worry about them. Exactly. Just, the no, he, just, he just does what he needs to do. Yeah. But goal scoring wise, you know, top goal scoring in the Premier League as it stands. Um, and from that point of view, in a team that we do create but he, he he takes so much pressure off other players who have you know less joy scoring goals than he does he's a what he played he's played all season yeah every every single every game, every game yeah and he's he's put the put to the ball in the back of the, yeah. the goal in, in so many so many important games and not just the games where you look and go oh it's a game against one of the big teams games where teams have come and stuck 10 men behind the ball and said break us down and he'll find that goal or he'll find that killer second goal or whatever it is and you can't I just don't think you can you can underestimate how important he is to us no, but he's, he's the top goal scorer in the Premier League so you can't underestimate how important he is he might score he might be on the end of it across mm. to put the ball in the back of the net he might try and rob Tom Davies goal of the season off him which That's I think is good good, good centre yeah. forwards do he's just got a lot of them he's mm. great He's a, he's a fantastic goal scorer, isn't he? Um, and so it is difficult, and that's what I'm saying to you. The the Garner things coming at it from a different angle of it. You know, I love my centre forwards, and and automatically you look at Rom and go, well, the top scorer in the Premier League. So how can he not be Everton's play, player of the season? But I'm looking at, I expect normally Lukaku to score goals. Mm. Garner was a surprise to me how important and how good he's been in the team. Lukaku does what's asked of him and that's to put the ball in the net yeah he could do more of course he can yeah his touch can be better of course he can yeah he some games pass him by and you you want to shake him and go get involved in the game but 24 times he's put the ball in the back of the net for Everton and, and that is that can't be well, before we before we give our final answer on this one let me ask you a question out of those two players who do you think will get players play of the year I think Garner will get. See, yeah, I, I think on the night probably Garner will get players play of the year and Rom will get players. Okay, that's and exciting. that's a nice way to do it. I think Garner will get players play of the year. Okay, personally, that's um, okay. Can we do that then? Can we pretend we we'll play for a minute and give Garner one and give Rom the other? Because I feel as though, I feel as though it's a, see this to me is more of a, a share and a trophy than okay. the Stefan Berg that he's won. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I am going to give Lukaku play of the year. Yeah. I think he's my play of the year, okay. right? Yeah. So, so do you want to say Garner's going to get players play of the year? Yeah. We'll split it that way. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. So, I, it's hard to sit here and go, he's the top scorer in the Premier League. What, to get player of the year, what else can yeah. he do? He scored most of our okay. goals. So, it's unfair to okay. say he's not getting it. Okay. Goal. So, 
The Dixie for Players Player of the Year, as given by Baz, is <laughs> Adrissa Garner Gay. Well done, well done. And the Player of the Year is Romelu signing that contract, Lukaku. As there you go. Set by there you go. <laughs> He'll be here for one more year, I'm sure. And he's going to take the Dixie. Sure. No, I'm not sure. Never I'm not sure. That. I'm not sure at all. Never more sure. Not, but I'm not, not a hashtag. Listen, but I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. He's you done. are bothered. No, no, what I'm you saying. You are bothered. What I'm saying is. You're bothered. What I'm saying You're is. Bothered. That doesn't affect my judgment. No, on. no. He's had a great season. I'm not disagreeing. You're looking at and now feel like you're looking at me. Disag I'm disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing. And he is the player. He is the player. Of the player of the year. year. Romelu Lukaku, 2016, 2017. Player of the year. There you go, Romelu Lukaku. I'm trying to see if we've got any pictures of him. We have Romelu Lukaku can't be with yeah, us tonight. He can't. He can't. He's, he's, um, I don't know what. He's with his mum, probably. He's with his mum. Playing FIFA. He's Maybe probably here with, with his mum. Ross. Yeah. Play FIFA with Ross. Yeah. And a uh, pot needle friend. See you it's in a tree house in Aiton <laughs> with Conor McGregor. I don't know. Is he? I don't know. I don't what know. Like that. I just want that to be true one day. Why? I don't know. Why would you want Romelu Lukaku and Conor McGregor in a tree house in Aiton? Just why? I mean, I don't say anything wrong with it. I'm just wondering why that's an image. I don't you know. I just see. think it'd be good. I don't know. I just it came to my mind, and I just thought I'll go with it. Okay. There you go. Right, there you go. There are awards. Let's run through them again. Under 23's player of the year, Liam Walsh. Goal of the season, Tom Davies. Tom Davies against Manchester City. Individual performance of the season, Tom Davies against Manchester City. Put plus uh, Matt Stecklenberg against oh, Manchester yeah, City. Sorry, yeah. we Thank you. Do you, do you, do you uh, fan of the season, everyone. Everyone. Big John. And big John. <laughs> and Alice Young player of the season, Tom Davies. Tom Davies. Players play of the season. I don't know how we're giving that, but we are. Garner. Garner gets players play of the season because that's what we think if we were players, that's yeah, who we'd give it to. Football. And play of the season, Romelu Lukaku has taken the prize. We'll find out next Just Tuesday advice. night, 9th of May, Liverpool Philharmonic Hall. You can be there. There'll be 10 awards given out of the on the night. Ronald Koeman will be there. Romelu Lukaku will be there. All the squad will be there. Plus, I'm sure there'll be Tony Bell, you and... All the rest of the blue, blue as long as you're eating bags there. Yeah, we love Jan, don't we? We, we love, love a bit Jan. of Jan. He's, he's Twitter. Garner's loving Twitter, by the way. He is, isn't he? Garner we'll is have to get him to follow us as well, like Jan Klutenberg. Get Jan. We'll get to Jan to get to Garner. To get to Ron. Ronald. Ronald. He might be. He, I reckon if you asked me, he'd probably just go, but okay. And then press follow. I, and it, then mute. I just want to go for a bike ride with Ron. I don't know. And Jan. Got to test yourself in life. I don't want to go on a bike ride with you and like that. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm just spun it off there. It's not like it. I don't wear like it. Ron does. Man, you've Jan Clute. Dutch mate. Mate, if the goalie coach told me to wear like that, mate, I'd just be like, how much? How much? Where, where do you want? If he told me to go for a bike ride in leather. <laughs> yes, yeah, so what that? Yeah. There you go. Uh, tickets are available. What's his name? Pa Patrick. No, oh, why don't we ever know his name? Because he's scary. He's scary. I, I, just don't, I just avoid eye contact. Do you know who's going to be there? Big John, that's who all I care about in life. It's not all you care about in life, is it? Let's be honest, it's a bit of a dog dog in here and love your wife as well. <laughs> oh, that would be the first thing look? that Kelvin could Because I'm just remembering you putting your, the, the dressing gown on your dog. That just, when you say about care and things, that your dog in a dressing gown comes back in my head every single right, time. There you go. We've gone yeah. to dogs in dressing gowns. <laughs> Save um, that for the others. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the link will be yeah. in the description below. If you still want to be here, there's. A multitude of packages whether you want to be you know just go and watch the awards and see uh, the players and the managers speak about the season or if you want a little bit of corporate like plenty of people do out there then there's nothing again nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong Chappers with that. is there so get involved Mark Chapman will be there a big thanks again for Everton Football Club for letting us have hold of a Dixie award because this is obviously the closest we're ever going to be to getting an award yeah that's fine on that yeah what you, what do you think is more chance of us getting fan of the season or maybe no. player of the season? I think probably more chance of us getting player of the season <laughs> than fan of the season. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's it. That's that's the Dixie Award. Get to the awards if you want to see it. If if, if you can't be there, I'm sure there'll be other ways to see it. You want to be straight, right. but don't let that put you off going. Of course, because you want to be there in in real life. I probably won't be streamed. Why won't be streamed? No idea. It won't be streamed. Let's just go before we get sold off. Yeah. It's not streamed. Thanks for watching Toffee TV. See you later. <laughs> He's brilliant.